good morning or good afternoon I should say because it's a little bit later. Um, I wanted to recap yesterday and kind of go through my list and then talk about what I've got to do today. So um, I did get to pay rent, that was good, always important. Um, I also wanted to find the supplies for my gas spirilla wreath that I'm making and I did find the geo mesh. Um, I had to go back to um, Michael's to get that but I did purchase it and Actually, we made progress on it last night. Here it is. Um, it still needs some more um, more added details to make it more piratey, but I did get the base colors down. Kind of used a combination of red burlap, tulle, gold, and um, red, which I got at Walmart. And then I got the Geo Mesh, which is this thicker black stuff at uh, Michael's. And um, so far, it's, it's working out, but we still have a ways to go. Um, so I'm pushing that over here for today. I need to pay the rest of my credit card electric and gas. I didn't get to do that, so I pushed it over here. Um, food, we didn't do Blue Apron cooking last night, but we are going to do it tonight. I have scheduled it for 7.30, so we're going to try to stick to that plan. It's going to be the um, chicken sesame tonight, and I will do my best to film it. For my Pugs and Pearls uh, YouTube channel, I did film my Mariah Mack Holland Swatch. Um, I filmed my makeup faves. I did... Um, one and two parts for 2016 so the first part is up on my channel um, and then I posted my voluntary day too so um, all in all this went pretty well so I'm just gonna highlight that because it's all done and we're good to go with all that stuff so for today's list of things I'm still working on my Gasparilla wreath I'm gonna try Target today and see if I can't find some more pieces that are pirate themed and if I can't I'm probably gonna go to like Party City and see if I can find some stuff I um, am going to be paying hopefully all my bills today I need to do that and then I have an errands list so I'll, we'll see that in just a second I pushed it down there and then one of my big things um, I've been trying to clean up a little bit around my house each day so what I'm going to try to do today is kind of clean my vanity area kind of like on top of my vanity and then kind of surrounding it because there are piles and piles of stuff that I'm trying to either review or swatch or I just need to put away so that's on the agenda today and then again like I said we're going to try to do our blue apron which is the chicken sesame tonight at so I'm going to try for 7 30 I'm going to set my alarm for 7 so it kind of gives me a reminder and then here is my like little errands list I kind of put it down here um, I'm going to go to Target. I'm going to look for a zester, a mini tong, a magic eraser, paper towels. I need some kind of storage for some, uh, some of my um, mini polish boxes. So I'm going to get a big box hopefully to put all my nail stuff in. And then I need more, again, Gasparilla wreath stuff if I can find pirate themed materials. And then I also need to find another um, phone tripod because when I do my time lapses, especially for my meals that I'm trying to show you guys, I don't really have a good one and I want to try to find something that's a little bit better and also when I was doing my meals the zester and mini tongs like they're not required but it would be helpful with a lot of these blue apron meals because you're you're doing a lot of steps and um, I just don't have uh, those things and I think that would be nice so I'm gonna see if Target has them and then down here for my channel I'm going to be posting my second part of my top beauty products of 2016 it's gonna be lips and eyes and um, beauty tools so that will go up today and then obviously my vlog from day three January 3rd will go up and then I'm gonna be just working on my resolutions video I filmed one last year and I watched it today um, and I'm trying to like make some notes about what happened um, what I did do what I didn't do what I need to do for 2017 so I'm gonna be working on planning and then I just want to let everybody know when I had went to Michael's last night um this is happening sunday on the 8th it's 20 percent off your entire purchase including sale items so that's kind of a big one and especially if you guys are planning or you want planners i got this planner from michael's and they also have a lot of stickers that i'm using um i purchased again these last night that i showed you guys i used these today these are the um recollections line and then also they have these huge sticker books which are like huge pieces and it just has pages and pages of stickers so um, if you guys are looking to get some of those like that 20% off can really help and then I also used today some stickers that I had gotten from my Erin Condren book last year that I didn't really use much of so I'm getting a lot of use out of these now but guys we're gonna go ahead and get started today and I will see you in a bit 
So guys, earlier I defluffed Dutch. I think he enjoyed it. I'll pop in a clip of me kind of taking off some of his extra fur. He um is not, I would say, a two coat pug. I would say he's like a one and a half coat pug. And Pearl is really just a one coat pug. Um, there's a lot of debate, I think, about really like uh, pugs and how many coats that they have. Personally, I think some are just fluffier than others. I think the black pugs tend to have uh, thinner coats. Like Pearl does not need a defluffing. She just doesn't. She doesn't shed as much as Dutch does. Um, although pugs shed horribly, um, I think that's another misnomer uh, about pugs is that they uh, they are terrible shedders. And Dutchie just has. He's not the thickest coat that I've seen, but like I said, I feel like he's a one and a half coat, aren't you? So I hope you enjoyed his defluffing. guys so I just did my makeup for today I was testing out some essence products which I'm a big fan of essence I really like the um, the affordability it is like super cheap makeup super cheap nail polish and they come out with some like cool collections in Europe they come out with collections like I think once a month or very very consistently I wish we had those collections in the United States but um, I was playing with some of their essence they have the little Xmas Factory eyeshadow palette, which is what I used on my eyes today. And I'm actually more impressed than I was when I originally swatched it. It's really, really cute. I mean, it's just something different. And um, also what I thought was kind of cool was this gold eyeliner. It comes in this cute little pot. And it's actually like, it shows up. Like, I don't know how it's going to wear today, but I don't know. It was just a lot of fun to try. So... Um, I really want to do like a haul and review on it, but I feel like it's getting a little bit old since this was the holidays, but I'm probably still going to do it just because I want to talk about Essence and they've got some new general products out on the market too that aren't like holiday specific. So I think I'm still going to do it, but this is the look I kind of came up with today and I used a little green eyeshadow underneath my eyes. I don't know. It was just fun. Something different. So now I need to run some errands at Target. So I'm going to take you guys with me and we need to go see if we can find some things. So guys, I didn't find everything I needed at Target. I only got a few things, so I'll show you what I picked up. I think I'm going to have to go to Crate and Barrel to kind of find the smaller zesters and the smaller tongs. They just have better selection, and their stuff is honestly really pretty. So I may do that later this week. But it really is time to get started on the dinner tonight. So I'm going to show you that in just a minute. But let me show you what I got at Target. So I needed some paper towels and I got these big ones. They last a pretty good while. And then I'm still doing a lot of cleaning. So I picked up the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. I hear really good things about it. I've used it back in college, so I know it's pretty good stuff. And then guys, this is the new box I got for my nail polish, my mini sets. I have a big box already, but um, I wanted to get another one. And this is a different pattern, but I like this one. I kind of like these boxes. I feel like they're somewhat sturdy. They've got this like, you know, pretty pleather and then fabric design. And I like this interwoven pattern. So I'm going to be putting some of my mini polishes that need new homes in this and in my closet for now, because that's the best I can do with those. It's just really tough to store them properly. I like keeping them in their kits. And then if we come over here, let's go ahead and talk about this meal for tonight. So we are doing the sesame chicken with bok choy and jasmine rice. Tonight's take on takeout makes for easy heartwarming weeknight fare. To give the chicken its characteristic flavor, we're employing sesame two ways. Nutty sesame oil adds depth to our savory sauce while black and white sesame brings pleasant crunch and makes for an elegant garnish. Sauteed bok choy on a bed of fluffy jasmine rice round out this satisfying dinner. All right, so that's what it's supposed to look like. Then down here, it shows you your ingredient list, your little knickknacks that you need. And this one, again, is supposed to make two servings. The prep time is 10 minutes and the cook time is 25 to 35. Now, for me, I've been noticing that these take a lot longer and that's because there's just a lot of switching and moving around of components and bowls. So I think the prep time actually takes a lot longer and the cook time takes longer. For me, the first one I did took about an hour um, to do, if not longer, because of all of the components and doing something I hadn't done before. So if you flip it over, 
Again, they give you nice picture instructions with, again, the written instruction of what you're supposed to do. And this one t seems very straightforward. It is going to take a couple of different bowls to put things in and move things around. But I'm excited. I have really high hopes for this. I like chicken and I like... Um, I like sesame chicken, so I think this one will be good. So we're going to go ahead um, and get started on this. All right, guys, so I've laid out all the ingredients for tonight. So we have the two bok choys, jasmine rice, um, two cloves of garlic, and then they have these nicely packaged for the rice vinegar, the sesame oil, and the soy glaze. We've got some cornstarch, which I've never really used in cooking, um, black and white sesame seeds, and then crushed red pepper flakes, and then our um, little scallions here. And that's it for the ingredients. Oh, I forgot to pull out the chicken. I'll pull that out in just a second. Uh, this one is 680 calories as prepared. Um, fat 19 grams, sodium a lot, <laughs> and total carbohydrates 74 grams. So, um, you know, it's not like these are the healthiest, but they're not the worst either. I mean, I could do much worse <laughs> going out to eat. So um, I'm excited to try this one tonight, and we're going to go ahead and get started.
We're calling it Celebrity Brain Crash, and we've had a sting made for that as well. So guys, I am here with little Dutchie, who's passed out on a little pillow. He was snoring just a little bit ago. But I wanted to kind of update you on the meal that I made tonight for um, the blue apron that I'm doing. It was the chicken, chicken sesame, and um, it definitely was kind of interesting because I am learning about my settings on my oven, and what they say is like super hot is like way too hot on my oven. So like I nearly burned the, well I pretty much threw the garlic in, it burned almost immediately because it was so hot. <laughs> and then when I put the bok choy in, like it wilted within like a few seconds. So it was okay, but like I smoked up the entire apartment and I had to like open up all the doors and the windows just to like clear the smoke. I had to pause for a minute, regroup, <laughs> and get back to cooking. That was my failure though. That was me. Um, not the instructions. It just, my oven runs a little hotter. So I need to remember that when I'm like working on it. Anyway, so here's kind of like my recap. Um, I still think that mini tongs or small tongs would be super helpful with some of the meals because I've noticed I've needed that. So it's on my list of things to buy this week. Um, you use a lot of virgin um, or olive oil, um, which is good, but you need to have that. That's something they don't provide. And a lot of salt and pepper for seasoning, that's something they don't provide. So those are things that you definitely need to have. I also noticed that you do go through like a lot of bowls, a lot of putting things in different things. So you do kind of get a lot of stuff dirty and you know you do have to clean your pots and pans when you're done. So it's definitely fun in the sense that you're getting to cook and do different techniques um, and use different ingredients. Like I used, um, let's see, the rice vinegar. I've never used rice vinegar before and cornstarch. We used that tonight. Um, so that was kind of interesting. Um, going back to the actual meal though, like how it turned out, um, I thought it was a little heavy on the rice vinegar. I think it just kind of took over power a little bit, so I feel like we should have used a little bit less, but again, I just followed the instructions um, in the recipe. So that was a little strong. It was definitely better than the cod. Um, I felt like the cod was so bland. This definitely had more flavor. Although I kind of wish it had even more. Um, we put in all of the red pepper flakes, which um, you could have put in a little bit for a little spice or a lot for a lot of spice. But even putting everything in, it was not spicy. And I think I have a really high spicy tolerance because I love spicy food. It was not spicy at all with all of the all of the pepper in, the pepper flakes. So my kind of like, I guess, review of the chicken tonight was it was okay. It's not um, like the best meal I've ever made. Um, it didn't taste bad. I ate all of it. And I do feel like the portion sizes are really good. Um, like I feel like they're healthy proportions, although they look kind of small sometimes when you put it in the bowl, but I was absolutely full when I was done with my meal. So I do think they do a good job of that. Um, I just wish, I guess I had enjoyed it a little bit more tonight. I was thinking that I was really going to love it, but it was just okay. It was not something that I'm like super going to crave or anything. But it was just okay, and I think that's because the rice water, I'm sorry, the rice vinegar was a little strong for me. I felt like it um, overpowered it a little bit. That being said, I saved my last, or my what I think is going to be the best meal for last, which is going to be the peppercorn steak. Um, and I'm not sure if we'll do, I think I'll do it tomorrow. I'm going to try to set a time again. That seemed to work well for me. If I set a time and I set a timer on my phone, then I know I need to like get started on like it's time to do dinner. So that kind of helps me setting reminders. But I hope you guys enjoyed um, today's vlog. Like I said, it's just kind of, you know, this is what I'm doing while I have this time off and trying to figure out um, a lot of planning stuff and getting some stuff done. And I've got a lot to do tomorrow. I think I've got a conference call in the morning. Um, which is kind of work related, but it's for a national committee that this is something that can't wait that I have to keep doing even while I'm off. Um, so I've got to do that tomorrow. But other than that, I just have some more errands I need to run. And I really want to finish my Gasparilla wreath. I didn't get a chance to pick up anything else because I couldn't find anything at Target. I'm going to have to go to the party supply store and hope that we can find some like pirate type things. But I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're doing well with your goals that you set for January. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.